Today, we're going to discuss, should I learn C Sharp in 2019? Choosing a programming language is really hard for a beginner. If you're already working as a developer, it's pretty easy. Whatever project you have at work determines the language and the tools you pick up next. But what if you're a beginner? There's no one telling you what to learn, and you don't want to mess up and study a language that will be abandoned tomorrow. So you go to Google and you search popular programming languages. And Google gives you back like 104 million results. That's actually the number, by the way, 104 million. So you wade you through a couple of results, and one blogger says, Ruby is the best way to go, but another blogger says, Ruby is dying. No wonder so many devs I talk to are so confused. There are more people probably writing articles about their code than actually writing code. And I call these people spitters. <laughs> the smartest person in the room. And I don't mean that as a compliment. To a spitter, no technology is ever cool enough. There's always something more cutting edge to try. And whenever you ask a spitter which programming language to study, they don't really want to help you. They just want to make themselves look smart by making you feel or look dumb. I'm going to help you decide if C-sharp is the right language to study, but this won't be like the 104 million articles in Google. I'm not gonna tell you about how beautiful the syntax is or how welcoming the community is. I won't confuse you with a lot of jargon or tell you that C-sharp is open source or not. I'm different. We're in a software company. We make money by building stable and reliable software. What's cool to me is being paid to use my talent to create powerful software solutions. If that sounds cool to you, then you're in the right place. I do need to explain two things first. Number one, when a general purpose programming like C Sharp is used to build web applications, it almost always used within a framework or a stack. So C Sharp and Microsoft's .NET framework go hand in hand. If you learn C Sharp, you want to build web software, then you also learn the languages and the tooling around .NET. So don't ask, should I learn C Sharp, JavaScript, or SQL? If you learn .NET, you'll probably learn all three. It's just that these languages are used in different parts of your project. The next thing to know is that C Sharp and .NET were created by Microsoft and are popular in the enterprise. But don't let the word enterprise scare you. That just means large or business to business businesses, B2B businesses. I created a software company that battles bank fraud. Our software was used by financial institutions around the country, and we were named one of the fastest growing private companies in America. Four years in a row, by the way. I created the software using C Sharp and .NET, and that's a common story. A lot of the behind the scenes software and services you use every day run on C Sharp. So just because consumer facing companies like Uber or Airbnb don't use .NET and C Sharp doesn't mean that it isn't popular and it's not trusted. Banks, airlines, construction companies, and sport leagues, .NET and C Sharp is popular with them all. The developers at these companies are too busy writing software to write an article about writing software. Now, C Sharp didn't get adopted by these companies by accident. And here's the part you really need to understand. C Sharp was invented by Microsoft in the year 2000. Two years later, the New York Times reported that Microsoft spent five million hours of labor and $2 billion getting the new language into the hands of developers. $2 billion. Well, that should matter to you. Microsoft will never let C Sharp become obsolete. Let me repeat. The second largest company in the world is heavily invested in making sure that C Sharp developers are always viable in the marketplace. But the truth be told, Microsoft could fail and bring down C Sharp with it. Any tech can fail. So let's focus on the right now. Is C Sharp good to learn this year? And the answer is yes. Course Report is a new site that covers coding boot camps. They did a study of coding boot camps across the country and found something surprising. And let me quote this word for word. Students who learned C Sharp were the most likely to be employed as a developer after graduation. Now, why is that? Why are coding boot camps and graduates with C Sharp skills getting jobs at such a high rate? It's not because .NET and C Sharp is the most popular. It's not because .NET has a cool logo. <laughs> coding boot camps graduate and get hired at a high rate because enterprise companies hire junior devs. If you want to get hired fast, learn C Sharp and apply to a large company. They need devs for all sorts of work and they need them like yesterday. In the past, these companies outsourced their overflow work 
to overseas, but now they're seeing boot camp graduates enter the marketplace and they're snatching them up as fast as we can build them. Here's a test. Go to indeed.com and type in .NET developer and then filter results by entry level positions. I just looked and there are 1,860 entry level .NET jobs available. That's more than any other stack. Just to compare, I also searched Rails developer and I found 1,935 jobs. So there are about as many junior .NET jobs as total Rails jobs. Now beyond enterprise companies, you also have startups and they need C-sharp devs too. My company sold software to services to large firms and we specialize in .NET because that's what our clients wanted. I know several programming language, but I've made the most money with .NET. So should you learn C-sharp? The best reason is .NET and C-sharp is what the employer wants to see on your resume. Think about it this way. Let's say you worked at a company and the company got purchased by a Chinese firm. And so now you have a new boss and your boss only speaks Cantonese. Now, which language should you study? Cantonese. It's really that simple. The employer wants to see C-sharp on your resume. And we had a Coder Foundry student who really impressed me. His name is Evan and now he lives in Portland. He earned his degree in political science, but even during the studies, he wanted to become a software developer. However, like any aspiring developer, he didn't know which programming language to study. Should he do C-sharp? Should he do something else? He wasn't quite sure. His next step was different than what most people do. He didn't go on Reddit and ask a bunch of strangers which programming language to study. He didn't look up the tech that runs his favorite app or choose that. Instead, he went to about four different tech employers in his area and he said, hey, I'm studying to be a developer. What technologies or languages do you use? And Evan says that over and over again, he heard it was .NET and C Sharp. So Evan looked up .NET coding bootcamps and found Coder Foundry. He relocated and we taught him how to code. Now he's back in Portland, working remotely, writing code for a consulting company. Evan did his research the right way. He found out which coding languages employers are hiring for. Now, here's the last reason you should learn C-sharp. Remember what I said about Microsoft being determined to keep you viable as a C-sharp dev? Well, you see that in all aspects of all the technology that it's C-sharp uses. You can build games in Unity, you can build AR applications for HoloLens, you can build desktop software, you can build an iPhone and Android app with Xamarin, and Internet of Things, cloud services, and machine learning on Azure. .NET and C Sharp have you covered. So let's recap. Will learning C Sharp future-proof my career? No, only your commitment to your craft will. But Microsoft is determined to make sure your skills are in high demand. Are C Sharp and .NET devs in demand today? Yes even for junior devs. There's no better language and stack to learn than C-sharp and .NET. And what if you have other interests like game development? Well, C-sharp is a smart bet. I hope that clears up any confusion. Now stop researching and get to coding. That's the best way to prove who really is the smartest person in the room.